I used to work in Loch Huon Residential Home, which is a home for frail elderly in Newton Ards. I closed the door in tears, thinking nothing will ever replace the care that we provided in Loch Huon, that there just would be no comparison. I um, was redeployed here to Cedar Court. Uh, not too sure about how support would work, um, and as we started to bring admissions into the building, I thought, you know, we're bringing in folk from residential homes, and I thought, this will never, this will never ever work. But as we're putting in the support, um, reskilling our tenants, it's just been a fabulous positive experience for both the staff and the tenants. It's great satisfaction watching the tenants promoting their own care, cooking, cleaning, with us helping them, whereas in the residential side of it, you'd have been doing all that and thinking that they couldn't do it which proves what they can do when you're there to prompt. You make your own decisions here, largely, and it is your own home. You have your own front door and you run it as your own home. You can't manage your house the same when you're getting older. So it's great to have all that done for you. We have 24 apartments over three floors, um, 12 in the frail elderly and 12 in the dementia unit. In the dementia unit we have 10 singles and two doubles and the frail elderly, they're all double apartments. I have sat here and sort of sat back and watched people grow and you've watched tenants, their complete outlook and independence growing, they're doing things that they haven't done for years more or less living independently, but they know we're here. That at any point they can call and have us in to help if they're having an off day, but people have transformed so much from what they were before, which you would never have thought capable. I would have been skeptical, but we have witnessed an awful lot of people just completely blossoming. I can make my breakfast, and uh, usually at lunchtime make it too and in the evenings and getting the dinner. Well, if you want any help, the girls are there. And they're very good. They'll give you help if you need it, if you want it. But uh, there's times that I just make me own. I can watch television for once. Uh, DVDs on my television. Um, I can go shopping, go down on the road, down the road on my scooter and uh, go around the town. Safety walking. I like to go to Lisbon on a Tuesday, and uh, on a Friday, I like to go out and get uh, fish and chips on a Friday afternoon. We're all very happy. We have neighbours here too, and. Um, uh, we the, the lovely walks around here are just beautiful and we have can go out when we like and come in when we like and have who we like and it's really a home from home but not home which I didn't expect it to be but it's lovely. They can come and go as they please. We help them with shopping. They're able to do this. We maybe manage a bit of finance for them, but I think it gives them more independence rather than in a residential home. I think they can take more care of themselves because they're getting the opportunity to do that here. In the homes, as I say, we bath them or wash the shard. Um, their meals were made for them. I think it helps them greatly in here, more so than a residential.
We would encourage families to take part in their, their loved ones' care and support. The apartments on the first and second floor all have two bedrooms. Um, we have a family at the moment who come and stay with their grandparents um, and take a turn at each night to come and to stay over with them. So that, that's a big plus, I think, from residential care. We have smart technology in the apartments that we will employ if a tenant's needs would dictate that. We have control over setting the timers in the kitchen sockets um, over the cooker and the hob so we can have them timed at the only home and a tenant um, requires them to be on when a member of staff's there. We have bed sensors that would alert us if somebody's getting out of bed in the night, chair sensors if somebody's at risk of falls that we'd be alerted if they're moving from their chair and the obvious thing is the door alarms. We don't have a communal lounge where everyone sits around the walls looking at the television screen. We have little nooks and crannies all around the building where the tenants would be encouraged to go and sit and have a chat and a cup of coffee. Um, we have a little library area here. Um, we've got two lovely roof terraces where the, the tenants can sit and look out over the grounds. Um, and our communal room would be used for activities, not for, for sitting around looking at the telly. People stand here very nice, and especially the girls too. If there's anything you need, they'll come and ask you, do you want any help for him? Or if you don't want help, you don't need help. You just say, no, I'm all right, thank you, and that's it. And they don't pass through your room. We have a lovely sense of community here. Um, it's, it's just a happy building to be in. Quality of care here is very professional, but it's not done in an overbearing manner, very relaxed manner. This is the least of what our old folk deserve.